Welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. Some bandits at the early hours of Friday invaded the Ungwan Gimbia community of Chikung local government area of Cardona State, killing two persons while over 50 members of the community were abducted during the attack. According to a source, the terrorists were said to have stormed the community on Friday, selecting their targets. It was learned that no fewer than 13 members of families were visited by the terrorists. As of the time of filing this report, no official has reacted, attack, has reacted to the attack, which comes barely a week after the state government restored telecommunications network to tackle insecurity in some parts of the state. Ongwan Gambia, located around Sabo, had witnessed a mass exodus of residents from the area following the activities of bandits in the area. The community is a few kilom kilometers away from Kaukodaji, where over 60 worshippers of Emmanuel Baptist Church were kidnapped on Sunday, 31st October 2021 during church service. Two abductees were killed on the spot. Two others were shot dead later, later, while one was injured and hospitalized. Sister one of the worshippers are being held captive while the bandits were demanded, demanding 99 million naira as a ransom for their release. From one bad news to the other. From one sad news to the other. See, I have to say this. In listening to all of this, so in, in listening to all of this, just today, information has gotten to us how police brutalized the family shot their, when they wanted to shoot somebody else or maybe they were shooting into the air or whatever. The bullets touched somebody. When the person wants to say, oh, Oga, you have shot my wife, oh, they, they brutalized him. Just today, in another community in Bruno, there was an attack. Just today, what is going on? Please, I have to say this. You see, if you listen to such news on a daily basis, <laughs> I've said it before, Nigeria, if you want to get depressed, if you want a pill for depression, just come to Nigeria. Listen. Even if you say you will not listen, people will talk. People will say it. If you say you will not listen, you see people coming to tell you. That is just it. And you cannot say you, can, you don't want to listen, you don't want to hear, because you have to. So that when they are telling you it is coming towards your side, you will not say you don't know. Sincerely, when will we wake up and we are going to, as in, a whole 24 hours will go without bad news? We are not saying that death will not happen. Of course, there are deaths that are natural. And there are deaths that are okay, can be avoided. It is really, really sad that they selected. So now, they are they trying to tell me that the, 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 the telecommunication, oh my goodness, you remove the network. You shut down telecommunication service there. Still problem. They will come and attack for as long, they always stay six hours and nobody will come to these people rescue. And now you restore it so that they can be able to call when they're under attack, they also attack. Selecting people. What is going on? And yet in the midst of all this, the government does not see this thing as priority. It is even painful. The government does not see these people, they waste their life on a daily basis as problem. Instead, there are things that does not matter, that is not supposed to be necessary. In every individual's life, there are things that, you know, the person does not bother about. The, it is going to be done, no, but does not, they don't bother about it. But in Nigerian country, they take the one that is least, like the least of all, and they put it and make it the primary priority. It is sad, and I keep saying, these people over there, they are human beings. They breathe the same air we breathe as, as humans in Nigeria. The same soil, Nigerian soil. It is very, very sad, very sad that such news will continue to occur. How many times have this news happened in this year alone? Let us not even go fancy other years. This year, do you know how many people have died? What is going on? And yet, in the midst of all this, these people will come out and they will, if they don't dis discuss about the election, they will discuss about IPOB as if those things matter than human life. It is well, though. It is well. Let the use of the affected local government area form a vigilante, lest these murderous people will wipe them out of the surface of the earth. When they start to defend themselves bravely, 
Kaduna state government will do the needful. But as, as long as they keep, they keep quiet and allow those people to continue to kill them, the Kaduna government will do nothing because it is not Fulanese that are being killed or kidnapped. This, this is the reality on ground at the moment. To be sincere with you, they are moving towards that direction. The thing is, there is a limit to what any human being can take. If you think people are stupid and you think people are foolish and you keep using their, this one, you're not calling them foolish behind them. You know when you are doing something for someone and, you know, maybe you, you are always the one they call to run around and do things. They, they call you foolish when you have left. But if you call somebody foolish by you are always repeating things to the person, I mean, you're always doing something that is not right. I tell you, the person will fight back. The person will fight, these people will start fighting back. And I say, it is going to result into breakdown of law and order. Like, if it starts, <laughs> oh God, if it starts, you see, eh, it is going to be very difficult to stop. Because everyone will be like, they don't care again. People will be like, since we have been saying the government should come. If the government talk that time, the people will not listen. And if you come and say, oh, because they don't listen, you do this to them. I tell you, anything you see, you take. These people will tell you that they too, they are human beings. Like, this is the height of it. How can somebody...